Hey guys, this is going to be a quick beginner's guide to how to use YouTube TV. So how much it costs, how to sign up, and then what it looks like when you're using it and how you'll be able to use it. So what we're going to do is start by going to tv.youtube.com. And this is where you can try it out for free by clicking on this button right here. You're going to link up a Google account email that you perhaps already have a Gmail, for instance. And since you're able to try it out for free, you can see if it's something that you would like to subscribe to long term before committing to any payment. The cost can fluctuate a little bit over the course of time. Right now, it's $72.99 a month for the basic plan, but there's also a ton of different things that you can add on to this on top of that. But a lot of people are probably just going to go with the basic plan. You can check your channel lineup by clicking the tab here at the top where it says My Lineup. You can enter in your zip code, click Submit, and it's going to show you all of the local channels as well as all the channels additionally that you get other than just the local. So you can go through and see if it has what you're looking for. Now I'm going to sign into my YouTube TV account so you can see what it looks like. So once you're logged into your YouTube TV account from the home tab, you can see things that it recommends that you might enjoy. You can click the live tab, which is essentially just going to give you your live guide options where you can scroll through and see what's on currently. And you can click on what you'd like to watch live from there. You can also go over to your library and any shows that you've added to your library, they'll have recordings for them. It's unlimited DVR, so you can record as many shows as you want. And additionally to shows that'll record for you, it'll also have video on demand options. So clicking on Rick and Morty, for instance, if I take a look, there's video on demand for the most recent season. I can go back in time to season one and it's DVR'd different episodes of Rick and Morty that I can watch as well. So you can DVR content. There might be video on demand content that you can watch. And it's really easy to access the content of your favorite shows when you add them to your library. You can go over to this search magnifying glass. And this is a great way to find shows that you're looking for to add to your library. So you can search a show by name. You can search different shows and series by different networks that you like to watch. There's trending shows, popular shows, different sports leagues. So scrolling through, let's say I'd like to add Bob's Burgers to my library. So I'd click on the show and you can see this little plus sign over here. When you click on that, it'll turn into a check mark. That means it'll add that to your library and it will record all future shows and also any video on demand content you'll be able to watch and find as well. So the great thing about using YouTube TV is you have DVR content that you record. You can see video on demand for a lot of your favorite shows and movies. And beyond that, you can also go to the live tab and see what's on live TV to do your viewing in that traditional way. Now, this is the desktop version of YouTube TV. You can also use this on your smartphone, tablet, as well as your smart TV. If you have a Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, or an Android TV device, pretty much anything that's hooked up to a smart TV, you'll be able to add the YouTube TV application and get access to your subscription and content. So quickly to show you what this looks like, going over to my Roku player. And from the homepage of my Roku, I can go down and click on YouTube TV and open up that app. And the layout is essentially the same here on my Roku as it was on the desktop version of YouTube TV. We have our home tab, our live TV tab, as well as our library content. And if you want, you can search for content over here with the little magnifying glass. And if you'd like to add anything to your YouTube TV membership, you can go to this tab right here, go down and find the different content options, and you can see how much it would add to your subscription and the content that you would get if you'd like to add any of these different options. So I hope this video was helpful going over how to use YouTube TV, just kind of a general beginner's guide on what you're getting. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.